Comets are dirty balls of ice that orbit the solar system. As they approach the sun, they begin to melt and evaporate into a gas. And that gas makes them visible in the sky. Because the comet itself, the like icy part of the comet itself, is less than a mile in diameter. It's a, it's a really small little guy. But the cloud of, of this gas that, that surrounds it from the evaporated ices that are present in that little snowball ends up being like thousands of miles across. Um, and then the tail that drags out behind it ends up being millions of miles in length. Cameron Hummels is a research scientist at Caltech, which operates the Palomar Observatory in the mountains east of San Diego. He says the discovery of the green comet arriving tomorrow was done with a device called the Zwicky Transient Facility, or ZTF, that's mounted inside of a telescope. It scans the night sky and takes lots of pictures. They take them a few, uh, every 30 seconds or so, um, on the same position on the sky to see if there are any, any things moving. So you essentially compare an image with the one that's taken 30 seconds later with the image that's taken 30 seconds after that, just to see if there's any kind of changes. And occasionally you'll see something moving over the course of those five images or so. And in this case, uh, that was the initial discovery of this comet. Hummel says the comet appears green due to its molecular makeup and the way it's illuminated by the sun. The last time this comet came this close to Earth was 50,000 years ago when Neanderthals roamed the planet. And if you want to try to see it, Hummel says it's best to be in the desert, away from light pollution, with a telescope or binoculars. Just after um, sunset and dusk, it'll be in the northern part of the sky near the North Star. And what's the name of this newly discovered comet? Its official name is Comet 2022 E3 ZTF. Skies are supposed to be clear on Wednesday, so good luck seeing whatever they call that comet. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.